Does it get really hot in here in the summer? Uh, yeah, it gets pretty warm, but we have an air makeup system. Okay. Uh, during the winter, that's a good thing you asked it. In the winter time, we actually take the heat from our compressors, to, Blow it out here. and we use that heat to heat the building. In the winter time, we reverse the flow, pulling air out, and use the draft of pulling air out to cool the building. Our shop is a Mediterranean <laughs> at times. So hot and humid and... Well, maybe I can take a stop. I, I know airflow pretty yeah. well. I can take a look at it. We have, for the size of our shop, we have massive air ducts and units and... It's, and not, it's, it's not always that yeah. that does it. You can see here, he's got jigs on and his jigs is to do various uh, laser cuts. So those are actually the tubes for the Diamondback for, that you asked what machine is this for over there with the nickel plated tube. That's the tube here. So he's, he's got all of these to cut. And have you seen the laser cuts before? Okay, this is a 2,000 watt laser. Come on over here. And you can look right at this, it's okay. Hi. When you see that first splash, that's the laser beam shooting a, a hole into the metal that's less than a tenth the thickness of your hair. So it'll blast that hole through, then the laser beam goes through that hole and it does its cutting. And it's a, it's a focused beam. If you're an eighth of an inch out of focus, it's not cutting. So it's cutting those parts and th those holes, it, if it pops a hole, you can actually tap the hole for a screw. It's that accurate. Now this is a 2,000 watt unit. There's two 4,000 watt units that you'll see further back. These lasers are 4,000 watt. They can cut up to one and three quarter inch steel continuously. So you can see that this is what's got to go through there today. So they've got it all set up to go and it's, it's in place. These lasers have tables. So this table has done, is completed and cut, so the guy will come out and pick the parts out. It's running in there on the other table, so we'll take you through. That's the angle adjustment bracket for your squeegees, your flood bars. Oh, okay. So they're being cut out flat, and then they will be uh, formed and punched with the angle so you know how to adjust it properly. Now this has been set up because this is a long run. Very small parts, thick stainless, and it's going to run a long time. Why? It's getting close to lunchtime because we structure so that if a part is a long run part and doesn't need an operator here, they'll set that up to run at lunchtime so when he's at lunch, he's continue to run. Yeah.